You guys have been watching that little exchange that we had during the commercial break. And of course, Natalia left. So that gives you time to get her book on Amazon. Constance Kamat is in the house, which means we are talking about movies. We are going Hollywood, <laughs> as it were. But actually, we're going to send you to... Constance knows I'm just out of my mind right now. It must be Monday, Constance. So what's up? What's up? Okay. Oh, especially you... Scream. You love horror movies. Yeah, you know what's up? Scream is up. <laughs> it really is. Okay. Uh, sorry, Daniel in the back, please. W would you mind playing that one... Um, uh, the, the movie poster for Scream 6, right? Because that's the one that's showing at, uh, at Tango Theaters. Right? I there you go. Okay. I got to say, Constance, that's Jenna Ortega. Of course, everybody loves Jenna. She's an absolute goddess right now, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the woman who's, like, opposite her. I swear, I thought that was Guam's own Pia Mia. It really does. Seriously. I mean, it really I can, does. And I wouldn't be... If, if Pia Mia was in Scream 6, I would be like, totally go watch this movie. I mean, watch this anyway, because... This is the latest installment of the Scream saga, the Scream franchise. And mm -hmm. Constance, I'm old enough to remember when I watched the original Scream. I've told you this privately, but you know the boss around here, Marie Calvo Manch, actually worked for Drew Barrymore at Flower, Flower Productions, That's Flower crazy. Films, I should say, when, when Drew Barrymore actually read the screenplay of what would be Scream. That was her big comeback moment. But people are going nuts for this movie. When though. you told me that, because I've, I've watched Scream 1, 2, 3, I skipped 4. I didn't know there was a four, so me seeing Hayden Panettiere was a surprise. Mm -hmm. I was like, what scream was she in? So when you told me about Miss Marie's, you know, like, working with Drew Barrymore, I was like, who? I forgot she was in Scream 1 and she was the first kill. She was only in it for, like, 11 minutes. I like, know, but, like, She was like, still, okay, hey, so what are you doing? And she's playing like, on the phone, like, yeah. no. And she's like, well, how can you tell what I'm wearing? Because I'm in your house. <laughs> and then it's like, whoa, this movie just got real. <laughs> But okay, but that kind of drives home the point that this is an established, um, it's got the, the an established franchise. Yeah, the franchise has history to it. It's got a huge fan base mm -hmm. and everything. And I'm sure the theaters must be packed with people that can't wait to see this. And especially it's got Jenna Ortega. There you go right now. Thank you, Daniel. Oh my God, yeah. Here is the entire Scream franchise right now. Look at all these people. Most importantly, look at the characters who are no longer in the Scream franchise because, you know, Wes Craven did his thing. They're, they're just missing Sydney. Cindy Prescott. Oh, this, Nev Campbell. Yeah, this this time around. But yeah. we still got Gail Weathers. Courtney Cox is in it? Yeah. I know. That's what I was like. They, I, I feel like this one, I've been seeing and then I've been hearing a lot of good reviews on Scream 6. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I I watched Scream 5 and for me, you know, it was okay. But going into Scream 6, I wasn't sure what to expect. But the reviews... Mm -hmm. It's a good mix of the old Scream with the new cast of Scream bringing into like the old slasher feel it's it's contemporary now because i mean it deals with like a lot of themes that like young people take which is you know social clout mm -hmm. and showing off there you go there um, um, obviously it takes place in a metropolis so i mean that the backdrop of it again how can you guys not think that woman who is at what in the actress who is at 11 o'clock that's of, of course that's jenna ortega um, she plays and, samantha carpenter yeah she looks like pia mia yeah for real with, Sorry, guys, uh, I'm just with, fanboying here with about brunette the hair. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So, obviously, you want to see this. There are many people saying that, as you said, Constance, this is a throwback to what made the Scream franchise so good in the beginning, which, ironically, was a throwback to the slasher movies that mm -hmm. I grew up with and that I love from the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you, though, because you've been at Tango <laughs> Theaters now so often. You know I'm going to geek out about this, right? <laughs> what is the movie that you guys have shown over the years that has elicited the craziest response like people like people literally screaming or have you had anybody like run out or like people like go out there and they're sweating crazy i remember i and it's ingrained in my head because this is why i love watching horror movies in the theater no i wasn't gonna say insidious conjuring the oh, yeah. first conjuring i remember i remember it being so busy that the line wrapped around you know, we're, we're on the like, second floor of the, mm -hmm. the mall, so it wrapped around where the escalator is at. And really? To actually be in the auditorium, and then when someone, you know, they say don't go in there. Like, you know, they're not supposed to go in there, but the characters still go in there. Yeah. I love watching horror movies in the theaters, because this one guy, it was so quiet in the auditorium, too. Don't go in there! Oh no, you went in there! There's always that one guy. It's always that one person, and that's what makes... You know, watching a horror movie in the theater. Like, no, is so no, no, different. no, no, no! Don't look behind that bush. No, 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 no! <laughs> don't open the closet door. No, don't go into the house that's been barren for years. What is wrong with you? Don't start the car because you know it's not gonna start. I told you not to go in there. Now you died. Exactly. I love it. I just love. But to, it. But to see this and to have the theatrical mm -hmm. experience to to be able to play off the responses of other people. I mean, I had one kid was like kicking the chair like behind me, and it was awesome. 
Yeah, for me, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy being scared by other people while we're watching this movie. You know what's crazy, too? How you said the line went all the way around, like, to the, to the escalators there at the Micronesia Mall. Mm -hmm. The only time that, and I've been to your theater hundreds of times over the years, the only time I've ever seen the line be that snake in that way was Force Awakens mm -hmm. and was Avengers Endgame. Oh, you should have seen. And so Conjuring was like that, too? I, well, I, I'm, I'm not disputing that. I mean, that's absolutely believable. There was also um, the last movie for Harry Potter and the last uh, movie for Twilight. Of where, course, Twilight would yeah. be that way. So it was, you know, it was crazy. Okay. And you brought up Twilight. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Twi hard. I'm, I'm, I'm 48 years old and I love Twilight. Well, whatever. You know it's a good movie. Okay. So real quick, um, uh, we have trivia going on right now. We were asking in the previous installment of the break, uh, what movie did Jenna Ortega really get her break in in Netflix? Here is the number two uh, question we have right now because Constance is literally giving away tickets if you just answer this question Champions it's supposed to be a really crazy Crazy comedy it just has Woody Harrelson. What is Woody Harrelson's zodiac sign? This is a little bit more esoteric Yeah champions I was it's it's a Family movie. I mean Woody Harrelson. I, I love Woody Harrelson. I honestly do not know what Woody's <laughs> zodiac sign is So I'm gonna have to google this but if you happen to know that, let us know right now, and the wonderful, generous, benevolent, obviously a horror movie fan, in all the right ways, Constance Kamat is going to send you to the movies, welcome you with open arms, and give you the experience of a lifetime, because you can either laugh, or you can be scared out of your underwear. All right. <laughs> Again, I did not know I was going to say that. In the first block, I said that whole thing about, you know, decomposition and digest, and now we're being scared of our, out, out of our underwear. Wow. If I get kicked off the show tomorrow, at least I went out with a bang. Well, I'll tell you what, we have good things coming up after this. We're going to talk about the weather and we have one more chance to send you to the movies because of the movie 65 with Adam Driver is also coming up. So please stay tuned. That is right after the break.